transforming the grocery retail. I think that's an amazing job. But I'm here with Alex Harvey, and he's from Arcado Technologies, and you're the chief of advanced technology, and you did that job. You used technologies like cloud, like data, like AI and robotics to transform it. We're here today at AWS Summit in London. You did a great keynote. It's very crowded and there's some amazing stories. Welcome. If you want to explain what you are doing with Okada Technologies for your clients and how you're using cloud. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Ronald. You're very kind in terms of the introduction. So yes, at Okado Technology and Okado, we are delivering an end-to-end e-com grocery logistics platform for international retailers and for all of their customers. The grocery market is really challenging. The baskets are very large. We deliver 50 plus items, chill, ambient and frozen. The margins are absolutely razor thin. And we don't want to just be able to offer the same sort of proposition that a customer can get walking into a bricks and mortar store. We actually want to be able to provide a far superior proposition. Now, that starts with the range. Over 50,000 different items that we're able to pick and pack from our large, you know, dense storage retrieval systems, but also be able to offer that same proposition of a large range from very small sites with the kind of the onset of immediacy and on demand. And we are still able to do that with the advent of Orbit, the capability that we launched in Reimagine. Moreover, Ocado has to do all the work. So whereas for bricks and mortar, a member of the customer drives themselves, you know, they take the fuel, they take their time, they wander around the store, they do all the picking, and then they take their groceries back home. We want to be able to do all of that same work for the customer at less than the, you know, the price that they would have to do it if they were just going in. So it's this incredibly tough challenge, and the cloud is fundamental to enabling us to be able to deliver that solution. Yeah, we're talking about cloud and about the challenges. Can you explain the type of challenges that you were facing from the migration to the cloud? And um, on the other hand, what kind of opportunities does it bring you once you have been migrated? So all of our end-to-end -end systems from the web shop, supply chain, routing, you know, the warehouse management system were all built cloud native, right? And so they are built on top of the fantastic platform that AWS provides us. Most recently, and as we were talking about here today in the summit, we were moving our bot orchestration system. So Ocado has developed in-house the densest storage and retrieval system in the world for grocery fulfillment with these bots that whiz around at four meters per second and pass with terrifying thin margins. In order to be able to achieve the very high throughput we need to be able to do for customers to achieve the end-to-end -end throughput of their sites, we had to be able to guarantee the ultra-low latency of communication from the orchestration system to the bots. So our bots are captive on a grid. They are not autonomous, they are orchestrated. And so Typically and historically, we had the control system for these bots on premise in local server rooms in immediate proximity to the bot so that we could really guarantee that ultra low latency. You know, our control system is able to adapt. And so if the latency increases, we can increase the error budgets to take hold of that. However, if we do that, then we lose throughput. So it was really important that when we were migrating, you know, this most critical real time highly sensitive application to the cloud that we were able to guarantee this ultra low latency. Uh, AWS have been instrumental in supporting us on that, both in terms of the services that we use, our ability to deploy now at scale, we actually get better performance running on their computer in the cloud, and with the introduction that AWS meant, uh, gave in December 2019 of uh, the AWS Outpost, wherever our customers decide to build their warehouses, we know we can always guarantee the ultra low latency. Typically, the warehouses are built in areas where actually we get pretty good connectivity to the region, so we don't really think we will need outposts very often. But it's such an important you know, insurance policy that we're able to absolutely guarantee that. So no matter where in the world a customer builds their fulfillment center, if it is in a place where the latency from a region is a little bit bigger, then we know that we could wheel in exactly the same Amazon rack that they, AWS rack, that they use on their own in their data centers to guarantee that low latency. Yeah, and your fulfillment centers are really, really great to see. It's, it's amazing. But what is the future going to bring now once you have this platform installed and migrated? So uh, we've basically migrated now all of the live warehouses. Uh, we are controlling you know, 8,000 bots from the cloud. We are orchestrating 8,000 bots from the cloud today. You know, this is going to grow uh, to tens of thousands of bots as we continue to roll out the CFCs into the future. We're rolling out 50 that we have planned already. 
we are launching the next generation of bots, 3D printed, carbon fiber, ultra lightweight, which provides this cascade of benefits. It means we can build the grid lighter. It means it takes less time to set up and to install. It takes less power to run and to operate, making our sites even more efficient. In our model, waste is less than you know, 0.4%. In a regular bricks and mortar model, waste is more like four or 5%. So we don't just offer a better proposition to the customer, we are much kinder to the environment. And then most recently, we are really proud to announce the development of on-grid robotic pick. So the robotic picking systems that my teams have been building in the last few years have been retrofitted to human stations and been performing brilliantly. But now, with some new technology, we're able to launch and deploy these on top of the grid, where they will interact seamlessly with the bots to be able to pick and pack and fulfill customer orders in just a few minutes. So yeah, I'm really excited and we will be deploying these at scale in the next couple of years. And you know, maybe we can take you around one of our warehouses soon. That's what I was thinking about. Absolutely. I really <laughs> want to see it. Alex, thanks a lot. And thank you for watching here from the AWS Summit in London for this great story from Alex. Alex, thank you. Thank you very much, Ronald. Take care. Thanks. Thank you.